Hey, well, it's so lovely to see you. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. I'm really good. So look, Venom, how exciting. Um, and you get to play a baddie again. I do. I do. Again, it's been so long since I played a baddie. It's like, I love it. And not only she's a baddie, like I get to create her from scratch, you know, because she's a baddie who's, un she's a fantasy figure basically. And I love playing roles like that. So I had a lot of fun with her. I bet you did now shriek. That's her whole superpower, isn't it? The power yeah. of her voice. That's so true. Yeah. So I, I spent a lot of time with my, I have a really amazing um, voice coach actually called Tim Monarch. And um, he's in the States. I'm here in London. Um, but we do everything over Skype or, you know, whatever online basically. And we spent a lot of time finding that voice because she spent so long in decades in isolation and not been able to use her voice so when she's finally released from that and is out in the real world and starts speaking again her voice is shrieky basically and so we had to work on finding this vocal tone but also something I could sustain throughout the movie and that wasn't going to damage my voice afterwards as well so we we had a lot of fun but it took us a while to find that no and, and that's once you've got that then you can just then you fly don't you then yeah. you can see all the different areas and different layers of that character yeah, right. yeah it's so true it's like it's that is your base la layer once you've got that then you're like oh my god I can sit comfortably in the character and without that you're really struggling so it's an interesting thing at, about the character actually because what I discovered was that she only really comes alive and truly I feel like she inhabits herself when she's with Woody's character, Carnage. It's that dynamic. They have this amazing thing where they're like half of themselves when they're alone and then they really release something quite terrifying um, once they're together. That's so interesting. Of course, you worked together before. Yeah. So that was lovely as well. I was in my 20s when I um, worked with Woody before. So um, it's a <laughs> long time ago now. He's exactly the same. I'm so, oh, I'm so happy to see that he's just as fun, just as humble down to earth. And, you know, he just likes to have a good laugh. So it's just great when you work with someone like that because you're working really long hours. It can be quite intense and pressurized and all of those kind of things. But ultimately we are there to, we're entertainers, right? So it should be fun, you know, and he constantly, <laughs> He reminds you of that which is great yeah. exactly and what a cracking cast and you got tom hardy there oh, and tom tom really really, really yeah, good it's... good bunch of people yeah, it's an incredible, incredible cast. Yeah, I feel very privileged and working with Tom in particular, because I've never worked with Tom before, but I've always admired his work over the years. Um, and I think what he does like in, in this movie in particular um, is so special and is so technically difficult. And I think people underestimate it because they think like, oh, it's a superhero kind of movie, or, you know, uh, but actually it's, it's really, really special because he inhabits um, characters that are polar opposites and completely diametrically opposed but he does both of them and with such pathos and such honesty and truth and you know it takes such skill to be able to do that yeah this is wonderful I celebrated your 21st birthday actually you do look a bit you look fantastic <laughs> Lorraine you're always good for my ego thank you so much you always make me feel better <laughs> you, look, you look brilliant and you look so happy and so together I mean this is a brilliant time for you isn't it yeah brilliant time actually yeah it's a very special time yeah um it's great you know to have bond coming out it's great that now venom has the release date and then i've got swan song coming out at christmas so yeah it's it's a lot it's a lot and they're all what i love about it is all, all of the projects are so different as well um, and they showcase like different sides of me. And that's what really keeps me passionate about acting is I want to keep exploring different roles. I never want to get stuck in a rut and playing the same kind of character. No, you want to try so, so many different things. Now, you did mention that um, quite small movie that's coming out that obviously nobody's looking forward to. Know, it's not yeah, going to make yeah. big yeah. <laughs> Oh, but you know what's so exciting about this movie is I know that people get really frustrated. They're like, oh my God, I've been waiting so long for it. But I, it's worth the wait. It's honestly one of the best Bond movies. It is such an incredible ride. People are going to absolutely love it. So that's the only thing that I'm like, I know you've been waiting for ages, but it's worth it. And it's not long it now. Is, very soon now. 
And you know, I think what it'll do, and this is the same for Venom, for both movies, it's going to get people back into the cinema because yeah. we've all missed it so much. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure you're the same. I love to watch, you know, Netflix and mm -hmm. Amazon, Apple and all the rest of it and downloading stuff. But there's nothing like that experience when you're all in the theatre together, the lights go down and it's that shared experience. Uh, exactly, exactly. And hearing everybody else's shrieks and, you know, yells and laughter and, you know, and that's what it is. So, and that's what we've missed, you know, with this times of COVID, you know, this communal experience. So it's so exciting that we're, we're going to get that again. And, you know, these are two movies, both Bond and um, Venom, that have to be seen in the cinema, really. They're designed for that. That's what they're made for um and you know seeing them on the big screen is what makes it so special so i'm so excited and i really hope people turn out but i i think they will i think we're all oh, ready absolutely now. absolutely people want to start to get back to some exactly. some sort of normality which yeah. will, will be in the, in the same and, and bond is actually going to point to that what i love about the films though and of course i loved you know i grew up with sean connery being bond and all of that is how they've changed and changed in attitude and now I would never say a Bond girl. I know some people still do, but they're Bond women. Yeah. And Bond women are formidable. They are a formidable bunch of, of, of proper, yeah. proper strong they're women. They're getting even more formidable. Now, you know, <laughs> Anthony Armas, Lashana Lynch, you know, these are really, really feisty, strong, capable characters that have been introduced, you know, that are out in the field with Bond and, you know, just as capable as him. So it's really exciting to see the evolution of Bond. It's really great. And especially with your character, because, you know, she she's a, a force in her own right. And I know there's been some talk of maybe doing some sort of spin-off um, about Miss Moneypenny. You know, I think, to be honest, I started those rumours. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, good but actually that's a really really good idea you can go in so many different directions with yeah, that that's you really can you really yeah. can yeah it was actually but, Barry Jenkins from Moonlight who said I'd love to do a Money Penny spin-off so um we were in New York and Barbara had to have Barbara Broccoli you know our producer had to happen to be there as well so I got them down and I like they had a dinner together and I was like well let's make this happen now of course we know it's going to be Daniel's last one Daniel Craig's last one which is which is a great shame because I think he's been a brilliant bond but you know the thing about that is the franchise goes on it, that's it's like Doctor Who it can go on and on and on do you know what I mean Tom Hardy I think personally would make a great bond but everybody's got their own idea haven't he they would, he would make a great bond but interestingly they always choose someone that we we don't expect and someone right. who's more up and coming so i feel like tom yeah. might be too established i think you know all the names that are being banded around actually i think it's going to be someone totally unexpected that actually their name isn't even in the mix yeah i do so. I'm, I'm sure they're already working on it Everybody, oh no i don't think that'll work and then it does yeah <laughs> exactly exactly but i do think tom would be amazing and if I was choosing, I would choose Tom. Yeah, yeah. well, that's the thing. We all, we all play those games, you know, when yeah. who should be the new one. And that's yeah, the, and the hilarious thing is people think that I know. And I'm like, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> A joy to talk to you. I hope next time you can come in and see me. Yes. But it's great to talk to you. Good luck with everything that you're doing. I'm so pleased for you. It's going so, so well. You look beautiful. You're incredibly talented. And it's a joy to talk to you, my love. Thank you. Thank you. You are so lovely, Lorraine. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.